Good morning, YouTube Infinite Magic Ray community. Gandalf here, here to bring you the sneak preview for this week's update uh, and summarizing it up, you know, to the most important details. So first, you probably already know about the returning banner and Little Jack as part of it. So look forward to getting him on this banner if you haven't got enough copies of him yet. Uh, he's right now in the ice skating event so he getting it through the event is always the 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 cheapest way of getting him if you want a guaranteed copy um, along with him you have Elena Aikina, Hell 9000, Angelaman also in the epics you will get Seal, uh, Sidora, Dustin, and Hardy as the rate up um, two major updates coming around one of them is the Grand Sword Harbor Party so this is one many of us experienced before. You're going to be getting the Holiday Science, the Mirrored Store, a Dungeon Challenge, a Lucky Wheel, Holiday Passes, Party Benefits, um, the World Boss, and some additional uh, deals that go on sale. Um, for the Cyan, you'll be getting five Echo Runes, one Advanced Skill Scroll, and one Regression Potion. Uh, inside the the Sword Harbor um, party store. There is the legendary Phantom Eye and also a regression potion in there. Um, but as usual, you probably need to spend a little bit of money to be able to get enough uh, Sword Harbor medals to be able to get the legendary Phantom Eye. Um, then we got dungeon challenges. So inside of this dungeon challenge, you can get a five star um, uh, dragon eye you will be able to get one basic skill scroll and a large amount of diamonds. Um, there will be double drop rewards for a limited time on the auto drops. Uh, for the world boss, the top rank guild will get a special flag uh, and I'm pretty sure you'll get a little bit of uh, uh, gem reward for participating in the dungeon boss every time as well. That's, that's how it's always been in the past. There will be individual rewards as well. Uh, from uh, ranking in the world boss. Uh, the next major update is the Fair Arena. So I already did a video on that a couple of days ago when it was first announced. Very much looking forward to it. Every player will be playing on equal grounds. Doesn't matter how much you spend in the game. Doesn't matter where how far you progressed it. Doesn't matter how high your tower talent sanctuaries. Everybody's using, basically having access to the same heroes potentially, uh, the same attribute buffs. And really, it's your test of skill and a little bit of luck to see who can make it to the top. Finally, uh, the much-awaited uh, optimized Broken Land uh, rules are here. Um, it's much easier now to take fortresses. Uh, every day, the difficulty goes down. There will be fewer number of waves. Um, and then the tutorial... Uh, there will be tutorial quests and goals rewarded in the battles. Um, there will be more added to the individual rewards. Uh, more goals added. Uh, the max number of blessing goes up to 40 now. There's a battle test button and clearance reward in the ultimate well. And the most important of all, we're getting the skip button in the fortress battles. Thank you. Because now it makes um, our life so much easier to go through uh, the fortresses and it's easy now to see the number of participants in the garrisons for each fortress is directly shown on the map and the numbering is a lot easier so um, it's much better in order so people will know which is the next fortress to go uh, attack all right so this is your patch update this week uh, hopefully you enjoy the preview and i'll catch you next time gandalf out